guys i think i found the ticket to fast firewood and that is this log deck mixed in with this wood splitter this is a very fast setup i think one thing i'm learning here is i should have put the log deck in a long time ago this is making it very easy on my body i'm uh, not bending over or doing anything as you can see i just rotate the logs from the deck over here another thing i'm finding that i really like is cutting two logs at once now if the logs are small enough that works if they're too big it probably wouldn't work but in my case, if I can cut two logs at once, that's twice the number of rounds that I can split before I have to go back, move the logs up forward and cut them again. Now, in this case, this log's pretty gnarly looking. It's got some hooks to it, as does the next one. So I'll probably cut just one at a time. Another thing you'll see me doing here, periodically, I will come in here and I'll move the logs so that they're not stacked up like that. What I'm doing in that case, I don't want to be standing here with my backs to the log and something rattles loose and the log rolls off the log deck. So before I move all the rounds here, you'll notice I get up here, I use the hook a -roon, pick a -roon, and I pull down the log just so that there's no way it's gonna roll off the log deck and onto me. And if you haven't seen this setup, this is pretty slick as well. I don't have a conveyor or anything of that sorts, but I do have an IBC cage and I've got the splitter set up higher than that IBC cage. The wood just rolls right off and obviously into the cage and the tractor moves it to where it needs to go. So that's quite a handy setup. And if you haven't used a four-way wedge before, that speeds up the process twofold. Uh
Uh oh. Yeah, right. Hope so.
Well, folks, I think you can tell if you've been around the channel before just how much easier that was on me and how much faster it was. I'm filling up IBC cages so much faster that I don't even think I have enough of them ready to go. Now, what I used to do up until this point was just put logs on the ground like that, park my wood splitter right beside it, come along with the chainsaw, cut my rounds, and then lift them up onto the splitter with my picaroon. Now, that wasn't all that bad until you get onto about the fifth or sixth log and then your back starts reminding you it doesn't like it. So having the log stacked up here uh, onto an elevated deck right at uh, the same height as the wood splitter was quite nice. I could just rotate or walk a few steps, grab hold of the round, put it on the splitter and away I went. Another thing I liked here was having the IBC cage at the same height as the table or slightly lower. Uh, that allowed the wood to fall basically right into the IBC cage. Of course, once it got relatively full, I had to move some of the pieces around just to get more in there. But at this point, now that it's full, I just come in with the forks on the tractor, load it up, and away I go. One other thing is putting the logs up there once the winter rolls around and the snow is here. That'll keep the logs up out of the snow and allow me to find them. If I leave logs like that down on the ground in the winter time, we get a good snow overnight. I can't even find those, not to mention they freeze to the ground. I'm hoping this will uh, elevate it, get it up out of the snow. If they do freeze to the bunks, I can just uh, maybe just nudge them with the forks and that'll be that. If you're wondering how I got the logs up here, the log loader trailer was very helpful for that. Uh, I'm going to continue doing that because that seems to be the best way to keep the dirt out of the logs. Picking them up, dragging them over would uh, put uh, put dirt in the in the logs and well, that would dull my chainsaw relatively quickly. And one final thought here on the log deck. One thing I have to do is get the backpack blower out here. There's an awful lot of chips and sawdust as a result of sawing up here and it's over everything. And if I don't get it cleared away in the winter, this stuff will freeze right to the deck and I'll be walking on it till winter. That's especially important up here as well. This stuff here will freeze to the log deck and then uh, it'll create bumps and lumps that I have to contend with or scrape off. So we'll get the backpack blower out here before long and uh, we'll be back at it. So that's going to do it for me here today. I appreciate everybody watching. If you have any questions about my log deck, concerns, comments, you know where they go down below. As always, do me that big favor. Give this video the like a -roo. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.